is uneducated sports talk stay smart stay uneducated welcome all sports fans and everyone across the nation this is uneducated sports talk brookie get right girl god dog it get right this is Uneducated Sports Talk. I am your host, Carlos Clayton. This is my beautiful co-host, Brookie. is in the building, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. You know how she does, man. Whenever there's a Bama game on, there's a Connecticut game on. Whenever there's a Packers game on, go back, go. That's what she's telling me right now, y'all. She's on there with us, you guys. So, PJ's taking a day off, you guys. But welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk. Yo, sit back, relax. We got a great one for you guys today, tonight. We are going live for... March Madness action once again, and we got the Cougars of Charleston taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Thank you. She says, Roll Tide Road. Brookie's all about that. Roll Tide Road. Thank you all for the love and the support. You guys are freaking awesome, man. Let's get, get, get it. Let's get it. The Cougars. Taking on the Crimson Tide, the 13 and 4 matchup. It's going to be awesome to watch this game. Welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk once again. How are y'all living life? How are we doing, man? Hope all is well. Thank y'all for the love and the support. As always, our goal for today's stream 35 likes. 35 likes is our goal, y'all. So smash that like button. Also, also, not just our goal, but we have our goal of 3,000 subscribers, y'all. We are less than 400 away from that, y'all. So smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And come join Uneducated Sports Talk UST Nation. Brookie, how you feeling, love? She said, roll, tie, roll. Let's go, baby. She's geeked up, you guys. She is super geeked up. I am as well, though. Can't even complain. I am as well. This game, though. Unfortunately, it's not going to start for about another 20 minutes, y'all. So you guys are stuck here with me for 20 minutes. What can we or what shall we speak about? Right? What can we speak about right now? What do you guys want to talk about? Let me know in the chat. But before we get to all that, yo, let's read the comments in the section right now. I got my guy, Daniel McKeon, showing love. Says, Welcome, UST Nation. Like, go to 35 plus like, show support by liking and subscribing. Go over to the channel. is 3 thousand subscribers that is gosh darn right he's right about that Travis, i picked charleston because the sec has been terrible like charles Barkley would say terrible i know barkley's mad is uh auburn tigers just lost uh to yale by like two points it was crazy uh, auburn was up by like 10 it was like 68 to 58 and then they just lost it man well i, I feel bad for bruce pearl but god dog uh Travis says, everybody thought Candace would be the fourth seat to lose. Turns out it was Auburn, S-E-C, S-E-C. <laughs> hey, hold on, says, watch it now. My, my Chris Todd ain't the SEC. I'm going to show you how a real SEC team look like. All, all right. You always talking crap, though. She always talking crap. I hate these coach interviews in the middle of the games. Leave these coaches alone and let them coach wait until after the game. Good grief. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got Travis says they never get anything out of them anyways. Never. Seth Messer Smith Dallas they says go Longhorns today. Yes, sir. Had to switch it up, I see, huh? Normal guy he said, what up? What's up, normal guy? Always good to see you, my guy. Seth says my stars better destroy the Penguins tonight. Uh-oh, we'll find out. Real fans was always voting against Bama. Oh, she said you take that back, man. That, that's Zach in nonfiction. I don't know which one's talking. It's probably Zach because he's a Louisiana guy like myself. But I'm all, look, I always vote against uh, Bama too, so. <laughs> Sticks of Maine says, hoping Cougars continue the SEC beatings. We'll find out, man. The Cougars of uh, Charleston, a sleeper team in a lot of folks' mind. Charleston's that team that could be a surprise. I'm just saying. Uh, normal guy says Auburn losing to Yale 78 to 76. Man, that sucks for Auburn, though, huh? I got Daniel Berry Sports Highlights says, Evening. What's up, Daniel? Samuel says, Hi, what up, bro? What's good, man? Samuel Wilkinson's in the building. 
showing love. If PJ was here, she'd probably call you S Dub. She'd probably call you S Dub. Uh, but y'all, once again, we are uh, streaming from multiple platforms. So I want to welcome all my Facebook viewers and all my Twitter viewers. Thank you all for the love and support, man. Uh, I'm going to uh, check out all of your comments uh, in just a moment. I forgot I was on the YouTube only. I got to go to multi-stream. So, this is, uh, so we are multi-streaming. This is my, my fourth time, I think, multi-streaming. And it's been so far so good. I love it, y'all. So uh, not only is the OGs from the YouTube community around here, but we have our Facebook people and our Twitter folks as well, man. So if you're in the chat, Say what's up to your boy, man. Show some love. Thank y'all for the love and support. I got normal guys. It's Colorado beat Florida 102 to 100. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, man. It's crazy how that went down. Sam says, where PJ at, man? She chilling right now. She on a little small vacay. On a small scale of vacay, right? Six days is opening day, says Seth Smith. Yes, sir. I will be on it too, my brother. I will be on it. I'm ready for it, man. I am definitely ready for it. I am definitely ready for it. Hope you are as well. Thank you all once again for the love and the support, man. Like I said, the stream probably won't start. I mean, the game won't start itself to about, as they said, uh, 7.03 p.m. Central Time. So you got about 18 more minutes left until the actual games come on. So um, stay tuned for that. It says UConn destroyed Stetson like I thought they would. Like I thought they would. I mean, someone asked me yesterday, am I, I going to do a UConn game tomorrow? I said, hell no. Why would I, why would I call that blowout? Why would I call that beatdown? I'm not about to do that to myself. Yeah, no, not about to call that blowout. It's going to be devastating, right? Travis says, I miss the story, so sorry you have to repeat it, but how does a Packers bear turn into a Bama fan? Oh, uh, easy. Her name is Brookie. She comes from my late friend, uh, Brookie. A matter of fact, when, when Brookie passed away, her family knew that I had PJ, and you know the story of PJ uh, represents my mom. Well, they actually bought Brookie, from, I guess, the Build-A-Bear, um, and they asked me to have her, and I wasn't going to do anything with her, I was going to just keep her in my room, because me and Brittany were really, really good friends, um, you know, um, she was basically my children's godmother, and uh, long story short, Brittany is a die-hard Packers fan, but also a die-hard Bama fan, and she's very annoying about it as well, very annoying, uh, and she's a die-hard UConn fan as well, so the University of Connecticut. So those three teams, every time we have those three teams playing, Brookie is going to be there to represent for my late friend, Miss Brookney. So R.I.P. Brookney, love you, girl. And uh, Brookie is kind of like her spirit animal, like PJ is to my mom. So, uh, you know, <laughs> she said, you ain't got to be all sappy about it. Look, Brookie, I'm just telling the story about how you were created, right? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but she's she's very Brittany was very annoying about being a Packers fan and a Bama fan and of course a UConn fan as well. So uh and that's why she's the same way. Very annoying. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very annoying, man. Um, normal guy says UAB almost beat San Diego State 69-65 man so far so good got a lot of good games too a lot of really good games uh, we got Christian and Rujo says hey y'all yesterday was my birthday and I didn't get my birthday song from the best UST nation he says go Bama happy uh, late birthday to the beautiful Christian and Rujo PJ's not here to help me sing. You want to help me sing the song? No? Oh, okay. All right. I'll just sing myself then. All right. Uh, this one is for you to the beautiful Christian Ann Rougeau. <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey.
Hey, hey, happy birthday, Christian, happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday, Christian and Rujo from Uneducated Sports Talk, myself, and I guess Brookie, but she doesn't want to participate. So it'll be for me. Hope all is well. Hope you're having a uh, fantastic birthday. And uh, let's get it, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, TJ Traces in the Business. Hi, everyone. I hope you have a nice and relaxing weekend ahead of you. Yes, sir. TJ, what's good with you, my guy? What's good with you, my guy? Hope all is well. And uh, we got Simmons. Says, happy birthday to you. That's right. Happy birthday, Christian and Rujo. And my brother from the same mother says, why Kendrick come from my guy like that, man? Because it's K-Dot, baby. Said, ain't no big three. It's the big me, bro. I ain't worried about y'all two hooligans, especially Drake, dog. We ain't worried about no Drake. Drake's a pop star, man. We ain't worried about that guy right now, man. <laughs> uh, you are so welcome, Christian and Rujo. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Thank you all for the love and support. You guys are freaking awesome, man. a is beating Nebraska 49-39. to 39. Yes, sir, they are. Matter of fact, make it 53-39 to 39 now. 14-point lead for Texas A&M. That man said Prince outlived Mike Jack, man. Just <laughs> all good thing, all good things. I have one ship left in a nice three days off. Oh, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be like TJ. If I could be like TJ, I can't talk too much crap because I got, uh, I'm off the, uh, tomorrow and Sunday, so. All right. Christian says, let's get these likes up for the best USC nation. Yes, ma'am. How about we do that? Smash that like button. We are currently at 11 likes on our road to 35 likes. So uh, smash the like button for your boy. Hit that subscribe button as well if you guys are brand new to the channel. Matter of fact, uh, we had almost 10 subscribers uh, yesterday. We called uh, McNeese State University versus uh, Gonzaga. Gonzaga with the beatdown win. Don't let that score fool you. They was almost up by 40 at one point. Oh, was it 30? I forgot. But they won by 20. They won by 20, so yeah. And uh, but but we had almost 10, I think like nine new subscribers, which is awesome. So we finally got over the 2,600 uh threshold. So now we have less than 400 to go. Less than 400. Sorry, I had to sneeze a little bit, man. God, dog. I don't know about you guys, man. These allergies are really kicking my patootie right now. Kicking my patootie. Good God almighty. Brother like me can't breathe right now. I can't breathe. Yeah, I really can't breathe right now, man. It's just... It's just Tough sledding. What is going on with this passing and all this? I'm watching the Nebraska game right now. It's just uh, Nebraska and they butt with by 16. Uh, Texas A&M. Oh my gosh, Northwestern and Florida Atlantic went to overtime. Yeah, it was crazy. Northwestern was up uh, like by like 12 at halftime, something like that. And uh, shout out to shout out to uh, FAU for coming back. Yeah, had a nice little comeback, and uh, FAU still lost that game, though. And they lost by 12 in overtime. I mean, they got their butts whooping overtime. Yeah, and they, they ran away with it. It's crazy how that went down. So, in about 10 minutes now, we'll have the tip-off between Bama and Charleston. I 
I would ask you who you got winning this game, but I'm pretty sure I know the answer already. Uh, she's going to go with Bama. I got Bama winning this game as well, but I've, I've got Charleston making it very, very close. This Charleston team is tough. They're gritty, and I think they will uh, give everything they have. Well, guys, I will give you some updates on Gremlin and Purdue. I appreciate that, man. I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of uh, Purdue beating the crap out of Gremlin. You know, Gremlin also another Louisiana team that made it into the uh, tournament. Um, but, yeah, they're, they, they're, they're no match for Purdue, though. They're no match for Purdue. But, hey, you never know. You never know what happens these days. Since it's all good, thing I, I have one shit left, then a nice five-day work off from the March 27th to the 31st. Hey, man, enjoy your off days, my brother. Enjoy them. Enjoy those off days, man. So I'm going to go to Louisiana. All right. Where are you going for Louisiana? What, what, what part of Louisiana are you going to, man? You coming to my neck of the woods in Lake Charles? <laughs> That's about a four-hour drive. I know that. Now, these allergies have been just kicking my butt, y'all. The, the weather change, it, it, it's literally bipolar out here, man. It's raining, then it's hot. Then it's cold, then it's freezing, then it's hot, then it's like real dusty outside, then it's cold again, then it's hot, then it's raining, then it's it's it's, it's just bad out here, man. It's just bad, and it's got my it's got my sinuses on ten over the last three or four weeks now. I've been on ten with these sinuses, and, and that might be the only reason why I'm actually waiting for summer, because at least we'll get a consistent weather consistent hot weather right as far as uh the springtime i mean ever since the turn of spring i've been just tripping with the sinuses right now and uh got me sneezing my nose is i'm stopped up and just ah oh, it's annoying it really is it's super annoying And I forgot now. I'm I'm a I'm a, a big dog at my job. I'm an office guy now. I'm not used to having like emails sent out to me after my job is done. <laughs> I'm like, they still emailing this like three hours after work, and I'm still I'm still getting emails about stuff. I'm like, I forgot. I keep forgetting. I'm like this important person now. This job. Yeah, you know, that's also annoying. So, something bit me. I know. A little ant bit me, I think. What? It's like an ant bite. Or maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Oh, he said, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Vermont and Duke. Duke winning by five. 28-23. Uh-oh. So, my allergies are doing pretty good for now. Yeah. This is welcome to management. Yeah, man. It's like, bro, okay. Like, like, like. You know the job I've been out. My, I've been out of work now since uh, a couple of hours now, and I'm like I'm still like I'm seeing. I got my phone right here. You guys can't see it, but my phone's to my right. And all I see is like ding. I'm like, what's that? Oh, message. Oh Lord, y'all still trying to hit me up? Man, I'm done. <laughs> but I forgot. You know when you're a big dog now, you got to go ahead and do big dog stuff. And uh, that's the story of my life now. So tit is what tit is. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, welcome also to Uneducated Sports Talk. The game is going to start, y'all, in about seven minutes. In about seven minutes, we'll have games uh, starting between the Charleston Cougars and the Alabama Crimson Tide. I cannot wait, you guys. Um, after this, guarantee you guys, I'm going to eat and I'm going to sleep. Eating and sleeping. Uh, that, that's the that's the story of my life right now. But the goal is, can we get like 10 new subscribers? That'll be freaking awesome. 
That would be freaking awesome. Normal guy says, what a weird name, Longwood. Hey, man. If you got it, you got it, if you know what I mean, right? If you know what I mean, if you got it, you got it, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hope they bring that long wood against Houston, right? Uh, but Houston should dominate that game, though. I, I don't even know who the hell Longwood is. Never heard of him. Uh, uh, at least some of these teams that are new, I've kind of heard them before. I ain't never heard of Longwood a day in my life until yesterday, or until a couple of days ago when I saw, you know, uh, the, the the schedules. I was like, Longwood? Never heard of him before. But, hey, that's what you get, man. Longwood. There was a trailer that came out today. Oh! The Penguin. I gotta watch that trailer. Yes, The Penguin is gonna come on HBO Max. Yes! Yes! I gotta watch that trailer, y'all. I got to. I'll do it after the stream, obviously. Normal guy says, Houston finna beat Longwood bad, man. Yeah, he says, I got another for you. Houston finna put the Longwood on Longwood. <laughs> Yeah, Ron definitely says PJ. She's not here today, uh, Ron. So she can't even call you RD today. She's not here. She's uh, on a little vacay. But we got the homegirl, Brookie, the diehard Alabama Crimson Tide fan. So she's going to be uh, sitting here watching this game with us. She's going for uh, Alabama. Alabama could be a 45-point underdog. She will still go for Alabama and think they're going to win, like really think they're going to win. So, yeah. That's that. That's that. Nah, nah. She said, it looks interesting. Oh, you watched it already, TJ? Oh, man. I saw a pop up at my, when I was on, on my computer at my job, and I didn't even, I, I said, I said, Los, look at it in like a few minutes. And I was like, a few minutes passed by, and I forgot. <laughs> A few minutes came and went real quick, and I was like, oh, damn, it just left, it left me. And just now, I was like, there was a trailer out there. Ron says, oh, no, her name's, uh, uh, <laughs> he said, <laughs> her name's Brookie, B-R-O-O-K-I-E, Brookie. Be nice, Brookie, be nice. She said, what kind of name is Bricky? <laughs> a bricky, 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 eh? A bricky, 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 eh? No? No? Okay. Service, 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 service. Yeah, service, 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 service. Under service, 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 service. Anyways. Have you seen the trailer for the crow? I did see it. Yes, I did see it. I saw the trailer for the crow. It looked uh, it looked very interesting. Um, you know, the first crow movie, I didn't really get into it. I, obviously, I know Brandon Lee, the son of Bruce Lee, was the uh, crow, and I remember watching it, but I don't remember. I guess I gotta go back and watch it and see what's up. Oh, oh man, Purdue! Is it me or like Purdue always tries to feed that Eddie dude? I know he's like seven foot four, you know, he's got a nice little footwork, I guess, man, but he looks so stiff out there. That's why Purdue's not going to go anywhere in this tournament, per usual. Hoping that Gramlin can put the smack on him. But anyways, I got the beautiful Haley Joanna says, hey, handsome, what's up, baby girl? Always good to see you, ma'am. Haley's in the building showing love. What's going on with you, Haley? Hope you're having a great, fantastic day, love. Sticks of Maine says, cold down there. We did minus 30 last winter, only hit minus 10 this winter. Sticks of Maine. Well, yeah, you from? Where you from again? Like, Maine? <laughs> where you from again? Uh, hold on, dang, hold on, hold on. What channel is it coming on again? True TV, right? True TV, I believe, yeah. Yeah, well, you're from an actual cold, cold, cold place. 
No more guys says LSU women's basketball beat Richmond seventy to sixty. Yeah, uh, it was a it, it got kind of close towards the end, a little bit scary for a second. Says his pastor Jimmy Swagger, Family Worship Center Church can't meet on March twenty seventh, thirty first. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, they beat uh, Rice, not Richmond. Uh, Rice. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they beat uh, Unwise in Richmond. No, my guy. Yeah, it's just Rice. All right, Santa. That's cool, man. Hey, enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it. Tuck the puppies. Hey there, Brookie and Carlos. What is, what's good? Charleston has Rain Smith, Kobe Rodgers, Frankie Policelli, Antti Brzovic, and Ben Burnham. Bama has Mark Sears, Rodden Griffin, Latrell Wrightsell Jr., Aaron Estrada, and Grant Nelson. I don't know. None of these names by heart, y'all, so bear with me. I'm going to call them by their numbers. They said we hit a low of 13 degrees in the south this winter. Damn. Where you from again, Daniel? We hit a low at one point, a low of, uh, of, it wasn't like last year. Last year we hit like freaking like, we had like negative one. For like the first time in a long, a long time. But uh, this past year, we had a low of, I think, it was like thir- it was like 15 degrees, I think. 15 degrees. All right, y'all. Let's get, get, get it. Bama wearing their white tops and white bottoms per usual to the home team. Normal guy says halftime. Duke winning 34 to 29 over Vermont. Yeah. Augusta, Georgia, USA. Said 13 is cold anywhere. Yeah, it is. It is, bro. You are not lying about that, my guy. All right, we're about to have a jump ball between the Charleston Cougars and the Alabama Crimson Tide, and the ball will go to the Cougars to start it off. Here we go, top of the key. Charleston with the basketball. They will swing it out. Top of the key, swing it out to the left side. And we have number one with the basketball. He will swing it down. Face up now, he'll drive to the right. Spins his left, layup up, and it's going to be no good. But rebound, layup. No good. Tipped in, though, by Charles today. Take an early 2 nothing lead over Alabama. All right. A three from the left wing is up, and it's going to be no good. Rebound by Charleston. 2 nothing is your score. Got a screen. Good pass. Charleston layup up, and it's good. Early 4 nothing lead. All right. Charleston, great ball movement so far. Take an early 4 at the lead. Bama, pump fake, step back. Pass out to Bama going baseline. Number one, layups up, and it's going to be good. 4 to 2 is your score. Charleston on top, early. We got 18, 45 to go in this first half. Got a floater game. is up, and it's good by Charleston, just like that. 6 to 2. Is your score. Charleston on top. Crossover. Bama. Drop to the right. Going baseline. Nowhere to go. Layup blocked. Charleston with the rebound. Here we go. I get your comments in just a second, y'all. We'll get to your comments in just a moment. Charleston with the basketball. Nowhere to go. Pass out to number zero. Driving to the left. Step back. Crossover. And we got a pump fake going baseline. Reverse layups up, and it's going to be no good. Tipped up and rebound by Alabama. All right, we got 18 minutes to go. Drive to the left. Pass out. Top of the key, pump fake. Floater. Good for Alabama. Making it 6-4. to four. Both teams right now are not even worried about shooting that three. They haven't shot a single three yet in this game. Both teams doing it down low. All right, here we go. Charleston has it now on the left wing. Passes out to number 13, top of the key. They will swing it back. Wide open. Three-point shot is up, and it's going to be in and out. Rebound by Alabama. Number 12 has it. Right wing three is up, and it's going to be good. 4-3 Alabama.
Got a missed shot now. And Bama has it on the left wing. Crossover. Nowhere to go. The three. No good. All right. On the left wing, they'll swing it out there. Top of the key. Three is up, and it's going to be no good short for Charleston. Rebound by Bama. But the loose ball turnover, and a rebound will go to Charleston with the layup. Eight to six, your score. So they said it was not a three-point shot. It was actually a two for Bama. Driving the lane. My man layups up, and no good, but he's fouled. All right, and we have our uh, – First foul of the day, I believe, with 16, 32 to go. Eight to six is your score. And we have a free throw coming up. Griffin makes the first one. All right. Let's get these scores underway. And, all right, they put the score back so it actually was a three-pointer. I knew I wasn't tripping. They did look at it. I guess they called it a two at first, but they realized he had uh Nope, I lied. I lied. I apologize. Nope, no, 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 no. It was still a two. It was still a two. I apologize. Both free throws made. We're tied at eight, you guys. So, man, outside of that really cold stretch in January, we basically didn't have winter here. It was pretty warm most of February. Oh, that's that's good for you. No, I lied. No, it's not. It's bad for you because you like it cold like that. I... All right. Swing out to number four in the left wing for Charleston. Tied at eight. Driving to his right. Spin move to his left. Up and under. Layup. No good. Rebound by Alabama. Bama's going to push it now. One-on-one. -on -one. Driving the lane. Layup is up and no good. No foul called. Rebound Charleston. Charleston will push it on the left side. They'll swing at the top of the key. Crossover. Drive to his right. Swing out to the top of the key. And number three has it. Nowhere to go. Trying to find a cutter. Handoff. Drive to the left. Bats to number three on the left wing. Driving to the right. Crossover. Nowhere to go again. Good defense by Bama. Layup. Off the backboard is good. For Charleston. First team in double digits. And we got a shot made by Bama. We're tied at 10. Look at this. Back and forth we go now. Tied at 10. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, number four has it now. We have 15 minutes to go. Layup. Good. 12, 10, Charleston on top by two. What a game we got so far. Number 15, driving to his right. Swing it out there to number eight, 55. He'll go to his right, spin to his left. Oh, scoop layup, but it's a bad shot. He missed it and a foul on Alabama. So we have our under 16-minute timeout. We got 14.45 to go in this first half. Our score, the Charleston Cougars. On top, 12 to 10 over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Let's go ahead and change the score. Welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk. I want to welcome all my Facebook family. Welcome all my loved ones. Showing love in the building. You guys are awesome, man. Uh, let's see. Where well, I met with the comments, y'all. Travis, this winner was a ripoff. <laughs> Tuck the puppy says minus one is just crazy. It is, man. Six of says, I only plowed the driveway three times. You did 12, 15 times. Easy winter. Okay. Johnson says, hey, Travis. <laughs> Guys, also awesome. No guy says, but up 12 to 8. Uh, Johnson says, I'm riding with the Knicks to win it. To win what, John? To win the NBA Finals? I would love that. That would be freaking awesome. They haven't won it since, what, 1970-something. They're not going to win it, though. Samuel says, let's go tied. Let's go. Freaky says, I like the way you think, Samuel. Travis, read the next line when I said when it was basically a ripoff. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, current temperature is 34. Oh, that's that's beautiful. 34 degrees. Right now, oh, man, it was, we had a we had a high today of, it wasn't bad, honestly. Our, 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 
as far as like spring season, we actually have a real spring this year. And that's probably why my allergies are kicking my ass because we never really have a real spring in Louisiana. We usually go from winter to, to, to summer. It's never a spring kind of season. Well, it's a rarity. It's been like 70 and 80 and 60 and 50 and 40 like the last couple months since spring started. But unfortunately, we're not used to that. I'm used to being, being like 80s, mid to high 80s, right, consistently. It's the first time we had it where it's like a, a bunch of 60s and 70s and 50s at this moment. And that my allergies are kicking my butt right now because I'm, I'm not used to having a spring in Louisiana. So I cringe when you said you preferred to be consistently hot. Man, that makes me angry. But seriously, I get irritable when it comes to the hot like that. I, I'm just, like, I hate the heat. I hate summer. And I live in the most hottest place in the United States. But, but as far as my allergies go, I kind of cannot wait for summer to come because at least I know it'll be, it'll be consistent consistent heat, right? And uh, I'm an office guy now, so I don't go outside too much anymore, so I'm very happy. It, it can be hot all at once now because I'm not out there. Oh, and now they finally changed Bama's two back to a three. So Bama actually has 11 now, y'all. I knew it was a three-pointer. I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew I wasn't tripping. So yeah, they reviewed it. And the foot was they said, not on the line. Yeah, so they called it a three. Sarah says, Texas Longhorns versus Tennessee Volunteers tomorrow. Game tight. Start at 7 p.m. John said, the whole thing, Nick's going to take it this year. Oh, the whole thing? Okay, John. Hey, bro, I really hope so. That'll be awesome. I don't see it happening, but boy, I really hope so. Here we go. Charleston with the basketball up by one right now, 12 to 11. Got a guy on the left wing who dropped his right. They'll swing it out there. Three-point shot is up, and it's going to be no good. Rebound will go to Charleston, though. Offensive rebound number four will drive in the lane. Probing. Find number one. Open for three. Got it! The three is good. All right, 15 to 11 is your score right now. Crossover, drive to the right. Layup is up, and it's no good, but it's a foul before the shot. There was a foul before the shot. We got a 15 to 11 score right now. Number 23 has it on the right wing. He'll hand off to number one on the right wing. Number three, pump fake. Step back. Three. It's up and it's going to be no good. And out of bounds on Alabama. It's going to be Charleston basketball. Up by four with 13. 48 to go. Sticks and says, I could not deal with 80 or higher all the time. 50 to 70 is prime for me. Uh, brother, I deal with 100 on a consistent basis. John says, I'd rather sweep than shiver. <laughs> Oh, I'd rather sweat than shiver. Excuse me. I'd rather shiver than sweat. Pump fade. Number one will drive in by the free throw line. Back out to the top of the key. Back to number one. D3 is up and it's going to be short. But another off to the rebound. And a wide open shot. No. Pump fake instead. And he'll pass it out. Top of the key. Charleston with the basketball. Up by four with the, the basketball. Here we go. They will swing it out. Driving to the left. Back to number four. He'll drive in. Floater game is up. Off the backboard. And Good. 17 to 11, your score. Uh-oh, those Cougars up by six early. Bama, the shot no good, but he's fouled. That's number one, going to the uh, free throw line for two free throws coming up. Texas, hey, Brookie, will you be here for the Birmingham Stallion versus Autumn Renegades UFL stream since you follow the football team from Alabama? She said, no. <laughs> <laughs> so ain't nobody worry about them second tier guys. Hey, hey, these guys are trying to make a living, Brookie. Why are you and PJ so mean? What are you even meaner than PJ? At least PJ was like, oh, yeah, she want to see some. You want a dollar guys for that, being a second tier team? <laughs> yeah, she's she not. She's only about Alabama Christian Tide. She, I know, Brookie says, go roll tide, roll tide. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, I'll be watching. I'll be calling. As a matter of fact, me and PJ will be here for show. 
first free throw was good by Bama, first of all, and the second one is good as well. We have a 17-13 game. RC is in the building, man. It says sub Los and what channels is on? Right now it's on True TV. True TV. If you have cables on True TV. And uh, right now I'm watching two games at once. Iowa State versus Maryland Women's and Purdue versus Grambling State Men's. Yes, sir. All right, we got a missed shot by Charleston. Alley to Bama. Nowhere to go. Bad pass thrown away by Charleston. We got a two-on-one. What's going to happen? Drive to the lane. Pass. Layup. Good. 19-13 to score. Bama with the basketball on the right wing. Good pass. That he fumbled it. Turnover. And it's going to be a foul on who? 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 I know not a foul on Charleston. I know not a foul on Charleston. I'd rather shiver. I can dress for the cold when I'm hot. I'm just hot. <laughs> he said, at least when I'm shivering, I can do something about it, man. <laughs> uh, Vermont versus Duke is at halftime. That's right. Nebraska and, uh, and uh, Texas A&M at halftime as well. And we got an offensive screen, illegal screen on Alabama. Charleston basketball. Smith, number two, took the blunt of it. Let's go. Guys, smash that like button. Welcome all my Facebook family, Twitter family. You guys are awesome. We got 22 in the building right now. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And are they really going to the monitor for this? What's going on? So there's an official review. Why? My question is why? It wasn't deemed anything crazy, huh? Let me go see. It's got 12, 20. Because I'm mad because they call this review timeout. And then I promise you, about a minute of game time, it's going to be another commercial timeout, the under 12-minute timeout. That drives me crazy. That will drive me crazy. We got 17 likes right now. Thank y'all for smashing that like button. Our goal is 35 plus likes. So we are one more away from being past the halfway point of 35 likes. So thank y'all for the love support. Um, Check out your boy, man. Check out your boy. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all once again for the love and the support, man. Without you guys, none of this is possible. I got two watching right now from Facebook. Thank you for my two on Facebook. Guys are awesome. I see you, Haley. I see you, love. Thank you for joining the channel and watching your boy do his thing. Thank you, Miss Melissa. I appreciate that. Melissa's in the building. Yes, ma'am. She says, always. I appreciate that, love. 19 to 13, your score. Let's go. Awesome. My fans on Twitter. The people on Twitter showing love. You guys are awesome. Let's go, man. All my Twitter folks in the, in the building showing love. <laughs> I got three in the building right now for Twitter. So the three that's watching on Twitter, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you guys. I got five in the chat on Twitter. Thank you, uh, my Twitter people. Showing love. If you are watching it, man, don't be afraid to go to the uh, come to uneducated, uneducated sports talk on YouTube. 
hit that subscribe button, man, and come join UST Nation if you're watching via Twitter. This is our live commentary and play-by-play -play reaction. Live commentary and play-by-play -play reaction of the number 13 Charleston Cougars taking on number four Alabama Crimson Tide. And right now, Charleston up by six, 19-13 with the basketball, 12-20 to go. Pass out to the right wing. Down low now on the right block. He'll spin baseline. And another spin, but he lost the handle, but right to a Charleston player with 12 on the shot clock. All right, we got my man to crossover. Driving to his right. Pass out to the right wing. He'll post up. Spin. Up and under. Nowhere to go. Spin again. Lay up. Too strong, but we got to travel. My man's had everything but the luggage on that bad boy. We got to travel. Here we go. Six-point lead. Bama with the basketball. Pass number one. Deep three is up, and it's going to be good. What a shot from Alabama. I mean, that, he shot that thing from uh, Tuscaloosa, for real. Three by Charleston. They missed it, but a rebound by the Cougars, and he lost it. It's going to be Bama basketball, two-on-one. Layup is up, and no good, but he's fouled. Going to the line for two free throws. 19 to 16, your score. At the line for two free throws. The first one is up and it is going to be short. At the line for one more. Muhammad Dubate at the line. Number 10 for Alabama. He missed both free throws. That's very unfortunate. Here comes Charleston with the basketball. Bad pass, but it's tipped away by Bama. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Charleston basketball. A bad pass stolen. Number 10, Dubatu with a slam dunk. 19-18 is score. Bad pass from Charleston. All right, here we go. Charleston driving in. A crossover. Free throw line jumper. Plenty of space, but too strong. Rebound by Bama. They can take the lead on this possession. They can take the lead on this possession with a shot made. Number one, driving to his left. Layup for the lead. No good, but he's fouled. Going to the free throw line for two of them bad boys once again. Thank y'all for smashing that like button. I got 18 likes right now, so now we're more than halfway towards our goal of 35-plus likes. Let's get it, y'all. All right, first free throw is made. Tied at 19. Ladies and gentlemen, we're tied at 19. And look at number one's mama. She in the stand doing the free throws with him. She's right-handed. He's left-handed. <laughs> that is crazy how it goes down. Mama is so proud of her son. Look at her chicken out there in the stands. As one proud mama. Charleston. Oh, we got another travel? Another travel. Uh, his mama got to get seared up. <laughs> She's so geeked up right now. Here we go. Bam with the basketball. Up by one now. Number one has it. Sears. Pump fake. Crossover. Driving to his left. Step back. Pass out the uh, baseline. And another foul. Blocking foul is a good call, too. That's a good call. Blocking foul. Free said it's over with, huh? Says, said they, they had us down for a second, but that was it. That was it. It's over. 
It's, you, you call him game right now. Good pass number 10, but he couldn't handle it. Pass out to number 11 now. Hand off to number 12. Deep three is up, and it's going to be in and out and back in. The three is good. Ladies and gentlemen, the three is good. 23 to 19, your score. Four-point lead now. And a floater up, and it's no good. Rebound by Bama. Bama's going to push it. They got a four on three, and now they'll stop it. Slow it down. Another D3. Short. Rebound by Charleston. Damn. Number two. Bad pass. Almost got away. It was swinging out there to uh, number, who was that, number five? Crossover. Dropped his right, number 11. Lost the handle. Boy, Charleston real slopping the basketball in his possession. He'll pass it. Pump fake. Drop to his left. Fade away. Got it. Oh, okay, I like that. With the hook shot to fade away. My man's faded. Lab's up and no good. Another foul on Charleston. Bama back at the free throw line. We've got 9 09 to go in this first half. 23 to 21 is your score. Brookie has already deemed this game over with. She says, ain't no way. Ain't no way Charleston coming back. Mind you, it's a two-point lead. Got 19 likes. Thank y'all for the love and support. Appreciate that. At the line for two, it's going to be number 11 for Alabama. He will make the first free throw. Twenty four to twenty one is your score. Number eleven at the line for one more for Alabama. Got some subs coming in now. A little subs coming in. And a free throw was made. 25 to 21 your score. And uh, we got some subs coming in now. 909 to go in this first half. Bam on top by four. So we got foul trouble in for uh, Charleston. A lot of foul trouble already. Three guys with two fouls. And we know about how huge foul trouble can be. All right, Charleston, top of the key. A man driving. Pass out. D3 for the right wing is up, and it's going to be good. Wow. Good God almighty. What a shot. He shot that bad boy from, uh, I don't know what other counter it is out there, but good God almighty. Seals, right hand layup is good. 27 to 24, your score. From the right wing, jab step. Charleston with the basketball. Driving to the left. Number one, he'll pass it out. Top of the key. They'll drive in. Back to number one again. Pump fake. Deep three, lefty. Short. Out of bounds. No, they say it's going to be. Uh-oh. Get your mans. Get your mans. He fell out of bounds. 27, 24 is your score. Bam on top by three. Twenty-seven to twenty-four is your score. Here we go. And I apologize for, uh, for missing all the uh I missed a lot of the uh, talks right now. So I'm going to go back. I, I apologize, you guys. Good pass down low. Missed it. Turnover. Charleston with it. Fumbling, bumbling. They get it right back, though. Down by three. My bad, y'all. Alley-oop. Oh, two-hand slam. What a pass. 
It's go down in Charleston, baby. 27 26 a score. Charleston with the alley oop. Bama. Three. Got it. Here we go. Spin move. Nowhere to go. Lost the handle. And he'll knock out of bounds on Alabama. So Bama with that three earlier. Thirty to twenty six. We have our under eight minute timeout. Thirty to twenty six is your score. I got John Jansen in the building showing love. What's up, you guys? I'm gonna go back. I, I missed a lot of uh I missed a lot of comments. I apologize, you guy. Missed a lot of comments. So let's go back. Oh, I missed a lot of comments. I ain't gonna lie. All right, John. Just as high. What's up, man? John says, I'm riding with the Knicks to win it, man. Yes, sir. Here we go. Uh, where did I go? Oh, I says, just for craps and giggles, would you rather wake up next to an unalive body or find a briefcase full of blood money? It's stuffed full of 100s. Lows and chat. <laughs> hey, man, give me the money, dog. <laughs> give me the blood money, bro. Travis says, is a Kansas doubleheader tomorrow? Kansas women play Michigan in the 8-9 game tomorrow at 1. Can you men play Gonzaga at 2-15? Oh, man. Here we go. Good old Saturday afternoon basketball, huh? Hey, Sticks Main says, you trying to tell us something, bro? <laughs> says, the call is on live stream tomorrow night. Texas versus Tennessee. Ah, uh, who knows, man? I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I want to do women's, uh, but I'm going to wait till the round of 32 for women's. Tuck the Puppet says, what's a good UFL championship match with Carlos? Ooh. Uh, I don't, I mean, honestly, I, I want to see the best of the best. So I want to see, I want to see the USFL side have uh, Birmingham. And then the, the XFL, give me, uh, give me St. Louis. St. Louis versus Birmingham. I would take that. The Battle Hawks taking on the Stallions. I would love that. That would be an awesome one. And the championship game is going to be played in St. Louis. So, yeah, give me a Battle Hawks versus Stallions. It says, uh, they, uh, Graham, they're keeping it close so far. Yeah, they are. Would you rather eat a, a fly for five thousand dollars or eat a roast for ten thousand dollars? Again, neither is not an answer. Hey man, give me that roast for ten thousand, dog. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some some Tonys on that thing, some ketchup. I dip them in some chocolate or something. Yeah, close my eyes and just get to go to town. He said I would eat both. <laughs> so I don't see you on Twitter. Did you make another account? Oh, it's, it's probably my other account though. It's probably my under my my other name. So I I probably gotta change that somehow. Uh, it's gonna be at uh, it's not the uneducated one. It's, it's my name, I believe. Uh, which is gonna be uh, I think it's at Carlos Clayton underscore. It's a, also are they working? Yes, they are, man. They are working, brother. I right, got a turnover by Charleston. Turn that over. Number twelve, deep three for Bama. Got it. Another one goes in. The biggest lead of the day now, thirty-three to twenty-six is your score. Shot by Charleston, no good, but an offensive rebound on the left wing. Drive it in, step back, nowhere to go. Give it out to the guy by the free throw line. Screen, number two. Oh, crossover, deep two, no good, too short. Boy, talk about a $1 move with a four-cent finish. I just made those numbers up. <laughs> Bama with the basketball again on the left wing. Good pass down low to the big fella. And I couldn't handle it. Number two 
will be hit for a foul. He'll be fouled. Look at the ghost threes popping the screen. Yes, sir. Butterflies in the business of 17 likes. Hi, what's up, Butterfly? Yeah, we got uh, Brookie here today, uh, PJ. I mean, uh, Butterfly. She'll get mad if you call her. She just said something. She said, do I look like PJ? No, no, not at all. You don't look nothing like PJ. I promise you that. You, you get on my nerves like PJ, yeah. Double check the A.M. Nebraska game. Uh-oh. Get a little, a little chippy, huh? So I really thought I saw P.J. for a minute. <laughs> Travis says, I really like Yale's coach. I don't know much about him, but I like that he dresses traditionally in the suit. I miss those days when coaches still dress like that. You would say that, Mr. Old School. <laughs> you would say that. Uh, one out of two for Bama, by the way. I like that too, old school. Yep. Oh, you would, yeah, y'all yeah, would say that, Mr. Old School. Ah, here we go. With the basketball, they'll face up. Nowhere to go. Charleston with the basketball. Get out of Smith. Deep three from the right wing. Short. Rebound by Charleston. Another offensive rebound by uh, the Cougars. Keep him in this game, the hustle. Butterfly says, welcome, everyone. That's right. John says a two-point lead for Duke now. Duke is, is now it's a uh, seven-point lead for Duke now. Mr. Dix made a piece tonight. We too far for Celeste to go get one. <laughs> got to get that piece right, huh? Uh, we got a foul called on Bama. Off-ball foul. Smith is on the floor. When I saw the ghost threes popping up, I first thought my screen was manufacturing, uh, manufacturing, malfunctioning, excuse me. Oh, we got an injured Bama guy, number 12, It's going to go to the uh, locker room to take care of that. Nice alley there. That's right. Gramlin and Purdue. Yeah, it's a tight game in that uh, matchup. Real fast. If Gramlin wins, Rock is going to be... Talking crazy. Oh, yeah, Coach Rock gonna deserve all that. All right, Charles will drive. It's a foul. Foul on Bama. Right now, it's 31-27. Purdue over Bama. Only four points. My man must be bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding out his, out his nostrils. Uh, MKI Sports, Michael Kenji Izumi said, what up, Carlos and Brookie? Brookie says, what's good, Michael? John says, great answer, Carlos. Go Battlehawks. Ka -ka! <laughs> Attempt bringing not to keep her hopes up on Alabama. She says, take that back. We're about to stump these boys now. Yeah. Oh, was that 3-3? Three, three? Oh, he missed the first free throw. Come on, man. Got to make those free throws, my guy. Tessa, here's my choices. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, you got a lot. Tuck, why? You, you can't really ask that question and then, then all of a sudden got like 20 different choices, man. You got to have one. What's your one definite one? What's your one definite? You got 25 different choices, man. <laughs> it's, only, it's only eight teams in the league, Tuck. <laughs> you can't have 20 different scenarios, man. One of them is going to work. <laughs> uh, Tuck, Houston, Houston versus D.C.? I don't want to see that. Oh, he's oh he's versus. I thought you said Houston versus. Uh, I'm thinking Houston versus Arlington. Houston versus DC would be cool. I got to win the whole thing. Lows in my bracket. Although I don't know men's college hoops well anymore. I got Tennessee winning it all. I'm going with Tennessee. I've been saying Tennessee for the, like the last uh, five six days now. Missed layup by Bama. Out of bounds on Bama. Charleston basketball. With 4.59 to go in this first half. Grandlin's made a, a bit of a game of it in the first half. I'm under no illusion that Grandlin will win, but Purdue doesn't want to play with them too long. Remember what happened last year. Yeah, per Purdue's, Purdue's going to get bounced out sooner than, rather than later. I, I cannot see Purdue making it all the way to like the Final Four. I, can't, I just can't. They're too stiff. With Big Eddie, they're too stiff. Good pass down low. Layup blocked from out of uh, Memo, but out of bounds on the Crimson Tide. I haven't watched men since Zion, Archie Baird, and Cam Reddit was in college. Oh, you're a Duke guy, huh? 
You a dookie. We're at 20 likes, by the way, for our YouTube, man. Thank y'all for that. I appreciate it. All right, we got a corner handoff. Drive to the left now. Left hand layup's up, and it's no good. But rebound once again by Charleston. The putback is good. 34 to 30 to score. All right, we got a good pass down low. Layup blocked from a high, but they say a foul before the shot. I don't like that call. I don't know. My referees are acting too referees right now. We had Kentucky lost Oakland last night. A lot of UK fans were saying, fire Cal. Well, you, you fire him. Bye-bye to, uh, you know, having a chance at least. Now, I give him credit. He was the poster child for one and dones. The poster child head coach for one and dones, but eventually it's going to come back to haunt you because Kentucky wants championships. Not just big name high school kids that come out there for one year and leave. No. All right, spin to the right. Uh, Smith, nowhere to go. Back to the left, back to the right. Hook shot, no good. But another offensive rebound by Charleston and a foul called on Alabama. Another offensive rebound. Brzovic has been just dominating the porch right now. Uh, Texas, what do you think about Michigan versus St. Louis? Um, I kind of really see this Michigan team. I don't know. They, they don't sound sexy right now. The Panthers, they don't sound sexy to me. All right, jab to drive to the left side. Nowhere to go. Hook shot. Missed it. But another rebound. Another putback by Charleston. It's 35 to 32. Bama driving to the left. Bama. Shot up and good off the backboard. That goes in. Top of the key with 345 to go. All right, next stoppage will be the under four minute timeout. Lost the handle. Turnover. Bama basketball. 37 32. They got it now. Pass out to the left wing. Sears has it. It's going to hold it down. D3. Got it. Boy, Mama Sears loving it. Her son has 16 points right now. 40. To 32, a missed shot by Charleston. Rebound by Bama. They're going to push it. 2 on 1. Alley oop. Oh, one headed. Got it in there. We need a timeout, coach. We need a timeout. What he call it? 42 32. He says, no, let it ride. No, he will call a timeout. He will definitely call a timeout. 42 to 32 is your score. A 10 point lead. We've got 20 folks in the chat right now. What an alley-oop, one-hand style. Brookie is geeked up right now. She said, that is what I'm talking about. Your score is 40 to 32, the biggest lead of the day. The biggest lead of the day, 40 to 32. Sorry, 42 to 32 is your score. Dark Striker says, wow, what's up, Dark Striker 628, man? Good to see you, my guy. Good to see you. Brookie, Brookie, the casino bookie. <laughs> she said, yeah, I got to pay him a little something, something, something. That's right. RC says, definitely not a Duke fan, Lowe's. Absolutely not. I really don't have a men's team, per se. I mean, you kind of flip a coin between Ohio State and Michigan. I feel you on that, bro. But, yeah, we had to have a timeout, man. We had to have a timeout. Timeout called. Said, I'll be laughing my butt off when Duke loses to Vermont, man. It could happen, too. Texas, my selection for the UFL championship would be Arlington versus Memphis, Perez versus Cookies. I want to, I, I do want to see Arlington defend their uh, championship. And I also want to see 
the Stallions defend their championship. So that would also be my, my part two. My, I, I want to see Stein versus the uh, Battle Hawks, but I also want to see Arlington Renegades because Luis Perez, that's my dude. That's my dude. I'm a Luis Perez kind of guy now, man. I'm rooting for it. Uh, but I'm, I'm, personally, I want the Brahmas to do something. You know, San Antonio Brahmas, I, for some reason, I, that's my team, and, and they sucked last year. But hey, but hey, to tear with to tear. Box for your field championship would be Arlington versus Memphis. Yes, sir. Uh, Dark says, yes, sorry, I haven't been around a lot. Been doing things with the fam and other personal things. Bro, it's all good, bro. Do your thing. People ask me why I don't like the men's Hawkeyes team like the women's. I grew up loving them. I'm just a big men's Hawkeyes fan. I'm not a, I'm just a big men's Hawkeyes fan anymore. Shrug, so. Guys, says, have you seen the Padres Dodgers highlights in Korea? Color, I have. I saw that uh 15 to 11 uh beatdown. The newest member of the uh, Dodgers, the Japanese pitcher, I forgot his name already, man. He got smoked. He got smoked this first ever uh, MLB play. Five earned runs in the first inning. He was out of there, coach. Get him out of there, uh, manager. Get him out of there. So I'm just not okay. Yeah, and the first game was a uh, Dodgers won like six to two, something like that. Yeah, so I saw it all. All right, 10-point lead for Bama. Charleston with the basketball. They will swing it to the left side. Back to the right wing. Deep three. No good. Rebound, Alabama. They're going to push it now. Open three. Corner. Got it for Alabama. Tack on three more than bad boys, coach. Tack on three more than bad boys. Charleston, boy. Run for the money now. Layup, no good. Tipped around. Out of bounds. Nope, it stays inbound. Bama basketball. Three on three. Sears, D3 for the logo. No good. Rebound, though, by Alabama. Number 10. Pass to number four. They'll swing it out to number 55. Crossover. Drive it to his left. Sears, step back. Nowhere to go. Still dribbling. Pass, another corner three. No good. Oh, out of bounds on Charleston. Could not squeeze the orange, as they say. We got 23 likes right now, y'all. We're 12 away from our goal. So we got another timeout, uh, the official under four-minute timeout now. A minute 54 to go in this first half. Butterfly says, wow, get this chat rocking. Butterfly, how you doing, beautiful? Always good to see you, Butterfly. Yo, Shinobu Yamamoto, ain't worth my hype. I'll just leave Shoei alone for now. <laughs> Shoei Otani, huh? Yeah, man, look, it's going to be the same old thing. The Dodgers are not going to be able to win anything until they get some really good pitching. You can get all the big name hitters all you want, but we all know in the playoffs, you face all the best pitchers, right? So not so well for the hitters. You know what I mean? So until the Dodgers can fight fire with fire with pitching, they're not going to win with these big names. Yes, they got a, look, they're, they're stacked from top to freaking bottom with their lineup. Name them, they got them, man. They got Mookie Best. They got Freddie Freeman. We got Shoei Otani. They got some dogs on that squad, man. I mean, just those names alone could scare the crap out of anybody. But when you but you saw what happened to Mookie Best in the playoffs, right? You, you shrink. You only have a certain amount of hits uh, 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 at bats in the playoffs. And uh, it can go really well for you or really bad. I done seen some of the best ever shrink in the playoffs. And I done seen some guys that are like no names make their names in the playoffs. You know, but it's all about pitching. Pitching, 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 pitching for the Dodgers. They ain't got it. Not even Yoshi. I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they call him Yoshi out there. I know I would. I'll call him Yoshi. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Yoshi, you know, 25 years old. He's got like eight different pitches, man. 
that's fine, man. Bring that same stuff to the uh, big leagues in, in, in America, see what happens. And he got Molly while five runs in the first inning. Coach, get him out of there. He can't breathe right now. I can't breathe, Coach. I can't breathe. And, uh, you know, <laughs> he had his translator. Translator was like, yeah, bro, we messed up that first game. That's our bad right there, said the translator. That's our bad, bro. You're damn right, it's your bad. So, yeah, Yoshi is fine. Okay, yeah, so. Look, first ever start, I'm not going to bash him. Uh, hopefully, it's not a all-year kind of thing. It, you know, nerves take place. Even with guys like that, your nerves do uh, can take over at times. So, I get that. But right now, in this game, 45-32, Bama on top by 13. I got 21 in the building right now. Show and love. Welcome, my Facebook people. Twitter people. Alley oop. Oh, 2 S slam. What a pass. Out of the timeout. Charleston wasn't ready for it. With the basketball now on the Cougars screen. Smith has it now. Drives to his left. Nowhere to go. Good defense, but they call a foul. Reaching foul. Okay. Boy, what a out of bounds play! Oh, that was nasty. Give it to him, coach, with the two hand slammy. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Texas A and M beating down Nebraska. They're up by twenty one right now. All right, first free throw is made for Charleston. 47 to 33. But, y'all, next weekend, I will be live for the UFL, you guys. The UFL, we will call the inaugural game for the season, which would be the Arlington Renegades taking on the Birmingham Stallions. I cannot freaking wait for that. Bama went up for a layup. It's up and no good, but he's fouled. Got a minute and a half to go. Forty-seven to thirty-four is your score, Bama. It was a very close game. I hear you, Brooke, yeah, you're right. Grant Nelson in the line for two free throws. He will miss the first one. The Raiders are defending World Series champions, and the Diamondbacks are the defending NL champions, which is crazy. Yeah, hey, shout out to both those teams, man. I mean, they, they fought hard uh, to get to the World Series, and the Raiders are just a better team, you know. So I'm definitely going to call. Uh, I get every single Texas Rangers game. And he missed both free throws, by the way. Okay, well. Minute and a half to go. All right. Charleston players on offense. Drive in. Floater. No good. But we got a rebound by Charleston. A D3. Top of the keys up. And it's no good. Rebound by Bama. 55 is going to go ahead and push it. We got a two on two. Euro step. English. No good. Doesn't have a second language, apparently. Pass in the corner for three. Let's get it. Oh, he missed it. Rebound Charleston. They'll push it out. Two on one. He'll settle for a left wing three instead. Oh, air ball. Air ball. Oh, my goodness. How you air ball that one? Sears driving the lane. Shot is up. And no good, but he's fouled. My uh, guy says the NBA G League in 19 will no longer exist after the season, which makes sense after all the collegiate and IL deals. Uh, hold on. You got to break that down a lot more for me. I don't, I don't understand it. I'm sorry. Got to break that down a lot more for me. Forty-eight to thirty-four. Uh, it says Cougars can't buy a three right now. They can't, bro. Both free throws made. We got forty-seven point nine. To go, we got a, so we got a 17 or 18 second difference between game clock and shot clock. Here we go. Charleston down by 15. 
Only two points to last three and a half minutes for the Cougars. Bad pass. Out of bounds. He wasn't ready for it, coach. He wasn't ready for it. Out of bounds. God, dog. Brookie is geeked up right now. She said, get these bums off the court. They can't handle Bama. <laughs> get them off the court, said Brookie. This tournament is going to be so damn good. I cannot wait to see who's going to go to the Sweet 16. We got a 14-2 run, by the way. All right, so we have a 17-second difference. Game clock, shot clock. Here we go. Sears with the basketball for Bama. Driving to his left, all the way to the rim. Layup's up, and it's good. 51 to 34. We got a timeout call. Coach! <laughs> I can't breathe out a 16 to 2 run. What's going on? Roll time. They're going to roll us out of here. We done drove all the way out here to get. I can't breathe, Coach. We were supposed to be the Cinderella. I lost my glass slipper, and ain't nobody going to find it for me. I can't breathe, Coach. <laughs> Coach, oh my goodness, we got a timeout call by the Cougars, boy. It's a 16-2 run for Alabama. Make it make sense, Coach. Coach! Call a timeout, man. Sticks of Maine says, wow, that is too bad. So the league team is in Maine and does pretty well. Okay, let's see. NBA's G League tonight will be shut down. He said this comes after the development team was introduced by the NBA in April 2020. It was presented as an alternative option for high school prospects to earn money. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you, bro. 23.2 to go. So the last possession will go down to uh, – Alabama. Oh, I'm sorry. Charleston. I apologize. Charleston will have the last possession. Maybe. Hopefully for them. All right. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Driving baseline. 4, 3, 2. At the buzzer layup. No good. And it's going to be the it for the first half. Alabama with a strong finish. To the first half. They go on a 16 to 2 run the last four and a half minutes of this first half. Our score at halftime, the Alabama Crimson Tide 51. The Charleston Cougars 34. Good job by Alabama dominating this game. And I want to say the last half, the last half of the uh of the first half went Bama's way. It went Bama's way. They finished on a 16 to 2 run. If you're a Bama fan like Brookie, you are geeked up right now. And uh, we are definitely going to halftime, y'all. And it is March Madness, so you know halftime is going to be a little bit longer than usual. Halftime is going to be a teeny bit longer than usual. Stay tuned, y'all. Butterfly says one more like for 25. We're officially at 26 likes now. I'm just need nine brave souls to <laughs> smash that like button for your boy. We need nine brave souls to smash that like button. If you are watching on Facebook, welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk. If you're watching on my Twitter, at Carlos Clayton underscore, welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk on YouTube. Come on. Hit that YouTube, check out Uneducated Sports Talk, hit that subscribe button, and be part of UST Nation. We appreciate that, y'all. Let's get, get, get it. It is Friday night, and I know we are sipping on something, right? Can I get some love, right, for the Mr. Bobby Rubin himself, you guys? What's up, what's up, UST Nation? It's your boy, Bobby Rubin. This one's for you. Responsible. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, 
All right, y'all. It is Friday night, and I know we are sipping on something, right? Do your boy a favor. If you are new to the channel, if you're new to the stream, if you're first time checking out Uneducated Sports Talk, let's get it, y'all. Hashtag Bobby Rubin, and let your boy know in the chat, what are we sipping on? Let your boy know in the chat, what are we sipping on? Let's get it, y'all. Hashtag Bobby Rubin. And a lot of NCAA's NIL policy student athletes don't need to join a G League program to cash in on their talents, man. So a lot of G League rules on free throws. What is the rules on free throws? Oh, Samuel Wilkinson says, now it's time for hashtag Bobby Rubin. Yes, sir. So he says, hashtag Bobby Rubin sipping on some sweet tea. Sip it on some sweet tea. Sip. Tip it on some tip, sip it on some sweet tea. Let's go, man. Sweet tea sounds good too. I got John Jansen says, sip it on some chocolate milk. Hey, I need y'all to hashtag Bobby Rubin. And uh sip it on some chocolate milk. Sip, tip it on some tip, sip it on some chocolate milk. Let's go. Let's go. I got a uh Dallas my girl says strawberry milkshake. Milky, milky, right? Sip it on some milkshake. Sip, tip it on some tip strawberry milkshake. That sounds good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't had a milkshake in a long time. I haven't had a milkshake in a long time. Ron says hashtag Coke. Hey, sip it on some kiss soap. Sip, tip it on some tip. Sip it on some kiss soap. Let's go. That, I've, I have not drunk a single soda in almost two months, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. Dix the man says, hashtag Bobby Rubin Protein 20 Cherry Flavor. Hey. Sip it cherry flavor. Sip, tip it on some old protein cherry flavor. Let's go, man. Let's go, Ron. Duffy says he's sipping on some Coke, man. Nothing wrong with that, Ron Duffany. Sam says, yum. <laughs> Michael, Kenji, Azumi says, hashtag, Bobby Rubin sipping on some bourbon on the rocks. Hey, all right. Sip it on some bourbon. Sip, tip it on some, tip, sip it on some bourbon on the rocks. And if I'm going to drink bourbon, it's definitely on the rocks. John says, hashtag, Bobby Rubin. Thank you, my guy. Thank you, my guy. Yes, hashtag, Bobby Rubin, and then let your boy know what are we sipping on. As far as uh, Ron, he says, what am I streaming? Uh, tomorrow, um, I may or may not do anything, honestly. I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to do something Sunday for sure. And then, of course, uh, Monday, I'm praying on God's green earth, Iowa wins on Saturday, and then their Monday game, I'm trying to watch Caitlin Clark, y'all. Yeah, damn right, I'm I'm trying to get a Caitlin Clark game in there. So we're gonna do uh, Iowa uh, for the uh, round of 32 if they make it, obviously. So which they should. Dallas Marcus, what up, basketball fans? Dallas, my girls in the building showing love. What's up, baby girl? Oh, I got tucked up, puppy. Says hashtag. Bobby Rubin sipping on some apple juice. Sip it on some apple juice. Sip, dip it on some dip. Sip it on some apple juice. Tuck the puppies in the building. Sip it on some apple juice. What you want to sip on? She said, I'm sipping on a dub for Alabama. Man, you so lame, man. You supposed to be sipping on something for real. You want, I got some energy drink. Oh, I got my, my NOS. See, and that's where you and PJ differentiate. PJ would enjoy drinking this. You don't want on my lips, it don't matter. We cool like that. I thought we was cool like that. Fine. You mean you ain't got the hat in my drink then? You don't want it. That, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, keep talking that crap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlos Blue Jays won five to one today. Hey, let's get a win's a win, even when they don't count. A win's a win. I got 28 likes, by the way, y'all. We're just seven likes away from our goal of 35 plus likes. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys are brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy.
Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Ron says, I'm out. Yes, sir, Ron. Says, I'm out. Hey, take it easy, Ron. Definitely. Appreciate that. Take it easy, my guy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Let's go, man. Uh, Purdue up by nine right now, so, uh, huh. You know, we're up by nine. Least play the orders tomorrow night. It's going to get ugly, dude. Oh, I bet. I can't wait. Tell me how that game goes. Let's see what's going on on Facebook right now. Let's see my Facebook people. Let's see what's going on with my Facebook people right now. Thank you. The beautiful Haley Joetta says, I'm proud of you. I appreciate that, love. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. We trying over here, man. We trying over here, man. We trying over here. We are definitely trying over here. But right now, we got a beatdown. And it's really hard for me to call a great game. Throughout the years, the first round of the March Madness tournament, I would tend to go with the 9-8 or the 7-10 matchup because I thought those two teams were fairly even. But just for, obviously, McNeese State University, the Cowboys of Lake Charles, Louisiana, where I'm from, I just had to call that game. I, I had to. I... Didn't know if I would ever get an opportunity to call them in this dance ever again. So, I was going to do that. Now, that was a 12-5 matchup, and they got their asses molly wow. Bama versus Charleston. I really thought Charleston, and they looked good the first half of the first half, right? The first half of the first half, which is kind of weird. But they looked good, you know, and they actually had a nice lead or kept it close, and then just Bama just went straight dumb. Bama went straight dumb, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. Said, do you get any hockey coverage down? Do you get any hockey coverage down there, Carlos? Yes. Uh, as far as the Dallas Stars, I, I get every Dallas Star game pretty much and whatever's on national TV. But that's about it. I love, love, love hockey playoffs. I love hockey playoffs. It is off the charts. I always tell folks, hockey playoffs, baseball playoffs. The two best playoffs, in my opinion, hockey and baseball. They're so intense. I'll go baseball first. I love baseball playoffs. It, it, I, I mean, I will sit there and be nerve wrecked. I'm not even going for a team, but I'm nervous both teams in, in baseball. Hockey is kind of the same way, man. So intense. Not just a regular average game. Yeah, give me football and basketball all day. But as far as the intensity in the playoffs, yeah, that's all the way hockey. That is all the way baseball, man. Those two sports, it is intense out there. D. Carroll says, Dallas. D, how we doing? Hope all is well. How you doing? D. Carroll, represent your ride or die squad. I don't care what team it is. 
I don't care a sport. I don't care if it's high school, college, or pros. Represent your ride or die squad. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel as well. But represent your ride or die squad. Who you rocking and roll with that one ride or die squad? And hit that like button for your boy. I will very much appreciate that. Six Mason's hockey playoffs are my favorite dog. dog. I've never been to a hockey game in my life. I plan on changing that this year. I'm going somewhere. Tuck the says Dallas Stars. Yeah, so I get every Dallas game. I'm from Louisiana, so I get every Dallas Stars game pretty much. And uh, so that, that's pretty much what I get, man. But national TV as well. So. Carl, the Raptors need CPR. They are playing so bad. Uh, the Raptors are done. The Raptors don't even care. They, they started botching that team. Uh, rightfully so, though. Rightfully so. So they started, like, scrapping that team. Bit by bit, piece by piece, started scrapping it up, you know. D. Carroll says, Bama, baby. All right, D, I see you. Let's go. Now, D, I, I don't know. Are you are you a male or a female? I do apologize. I don't want to, you know, I want to know who I'm talking to. It's spelled D-E-E. -E. It could go either way. I didn't want to call you sir or ma'am, so I do apologize. Travis Williams says, let's go, Bama. Travis, is that your ride or die squad? If not, let your boy know who is your one ride or die squad. I don't care what team it is. I don't care what sport. I don't care if it's high school, college, or pros. Represent your ride or die squad. Uh, D. Carroll says, Bama, baby. Travis Williams says, let's go, Bama. <laughs> now, I like to know who I'm talking to. I like to get the sense if it's a male or female so I can, the way I can talk to you and interact with you. So, you know, <laughs> sorry about that. 51 to 34 is your halftime score right now. I got Trey Burton. Welcome back to the channel, my guy. So, the Ohio State Buckeyes, hopefully our women team can win it all this year. Hopefully so, man. Ohio State's got a nice looking team. And we had 30 likes, by the way. We're just five likes away. We're just five likes away from our goal of 35 plus likes. D says, I get that all the time, LOL. Mel, all right, cool. That way I know what I'm talking to, man. I can talk to you a little different now. I can talk to you like you're, like you're a man. You know, so uh, <laughs> I don't like talking strong if I'm talking to a woman, you know. Well, D... My brother, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you, man. And uh, you are absolutely welcome to stay. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, man. Hit that notification bell. Hit that all button. When you click all that, you'll know when I'm live. First thing first, man. You'll be the first one to know when I'm live. Said parents had a sick sense of humor. <laughs> now nah, you're good, bro. You're good, man. You're good. That way... When you do come back to the channel, I know how to greet you, that kind of stuff, man. And look, I'm, I don't have a shy bone in my body. So I'm going to ask you, hey, man, is you male or female? <laughs> Let your boy know. Oh, Travis is Rod. Roll Tide for sure, huh? All right. All about the elephant, man. Let's get it. All about the elephant. Well, Bama right now with a very comfortable lead, 51-34. They've been molly whopping Charleston since about the 10-minute mark of the first half and have not looked back. Once again, y'all, hashtag Bobby Rubin right there. And let your boy know what are we sipping on. But first, hashtag Bobby Rubin and let your boy know what are we sipping on. Let's get it, man. What's up? What's up, USC Nation? It's your boy, Bobby Rubin. This one's for you. Drink responsibly. Y'all, 
let's go, man. Hashtag Bobby Rubin. What are we sipping on? Let your boy know in the chat, man. D said, my first name is John. I'm a junior, so they call me D. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha, man. Dallas, my girl, so I was going to be named Dallas whether I was, I was a boy or a girl. I had my name before I was born. Oh, that's awesome, though, because I, I can see myself calling a woman Dallas. So I have no, like, that, that doesn't like, oh, man, that's weird, bro. Nah, they like, I, I, I know, like, two other people from, like, TV girls named Dallas. So I can respect that. I can definitely respect that, y'all. Smash that like button. We've got 22 viewers from all across uh, the globe right now. Thank y'all for that. My uh, Facebook view viewers, appreciate that. YouTube viewers, appreciate you guys. Twitter viewers, thank y'all for the love and support, man. Let's get it. Let's get, get, get it. This is the first round of our March Madness coverage. Number 13, Charleston Cougars. Got to find their way back in this game. That's number four. Crimson Tide of Alabama. Roll Tide Rose says, uh, Brookie, huh? It says, it's too easy. with the competition at? Well, you'll get some later on. Keep talking that mess. You're going to get some. Talk about where the competition at? You're going to get some later on. Michael Kenji Izumi says, Gremlin Green Bay and Georgia have the same logo but different colors. Weird. I know, right? You are absolutely right about that. I, I guess the font is cool, man. Just the different colors. Mm. All right, y'all. We're about to start the second half. We are about to start the second half. That my girl, Brookie, you want to go off for pancakes tomorrow? She said, that sounds kind of good. I ain't going to lie. Yes, ma'am. That dude's, hey, I'm a pancake guy. I am. Texas, how did the Stars score so fast? They had one point. It was one-to-one tie, but now it's three-to-one. Dallas over Pittsburgh. Hey, go stars go. We are about to start the second half, and we're just four likes away from our goal of 35 likes, you guys, and more. So smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are also loving what you are seeing. And if you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter, man, come join our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button, man. Uneducated Sports Talk. Just type in Uneducated Sports Talk. So I bring Canadian maple syrup. Now, hold on. Hold on. I agree with Brookie. We don't know what that tastes like. Because we got our own, we got our own traditional syrup. You know, ain't your mama's. We don't know what Canadian syrup tastes like. So we gonna bring a bottle of Ain't Your Mama just in case. Just in case we don't like how the Canadian syrup tastes like. No, there's no knock on you. I didn't like my food to taste good. <laughs> All right, Bama will start off the second half with the basketball. Here we go. 51-34, they have a 17-point lead. Bama will get it now. Here we go. On the right wing, they'll drive inside of 55. Floater in and out. Rebound by Charleston. Number, who's that? It'll drive baseline. I, their, their black jerseys are so hard. Scoop layup up and it's good. All right, good start right now for Charleston. They score 51 to 36 to score. Good pass down low, floated up, and it's no good. Rebound by Charleston. They're gonna push it top of the key. D3 is up, and it's gonna be no good. Rebound though by Charleston, out of bounds on Alabama. AAU Triton is in the building showing love. What's up? So I know Canadian champ is a bomb. Once you have Canadian maple syrup, you will never go back. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. 
I like that. Miss Dallas, I do like that. We'll, we'll, we'll test out the waters. We'll test it out from the elbow. Pass back out to the three-point line. Driving the lane. Pump fake. Fade away. No good, but he is fouled. AAU uh, is at uh, Triton. Yeah, AAU Triton's in the building. I should have known about the PFG. Duh. AAU Triton's in the building. Showing love. All right, the line for two free throws. It was almost an N one. Almost an N one. Burn up the line for one more. He'll make it. All right, 51 to 30 is your score right now. Driving in. Pump fake. Oh, got a little travel. Oh, went for the slam. He missed it, though. Charleston on a four on three run. Nope, it'll slide. They'll slow it down. They'll put it down on the left block, driving baseline. Oh, Cookie stole the ball. Give me all that. We got an alley oop, and we got a two end slam from Alabama. AAU tries I just subscribed to the channel. Yes, sir. We appreciate that. Charleston, top of the key now. Handoff. Down low on the right block, he'll face up. Back to uh, number 11, he'll drive in the lane to the left side, nowhere to go, up and under, and we got a jump ball. Possession will go to Charleston. Oh, cool. Dallas said, hey, you, Triton is a very good friend of mine. We model a lot of chats together. Well, any friend of yours is definitely a friend of mine. Hey, you, Triton. Welcome to an Educated Sports Talk. I appreciate you for being here. Much love to you, Dow. Step back three at the buzzer. Missed everything. It's going to be a 30-second shot clock violation. 53 to 38 is your score. This is the Breakfast Wars. It's Team Pancakes versus Team Waffles. I'm Team Pancakes. Um... The only waffles I really like. I'm joking wrong. I love them both. But I am an ego waffle kind of guy. D. Carroll's is road tie. Back to work. D. Carroll, thank you for showing love, my brother. I appreciate you for uh, coming in here and showing love. We're at 32 likes, y'all. Just three brave souls away from our goal of 35 plus likes. Jacqueline says hello. Got the beautiful Jacqueline in the building. Showing love. What's up, baby girl? With the wave of emojis. Appreciate you. Oh, one and a slam by Charleston. Good pass. Number 13 with the dunk. 53 to 40 is your score. 13 point lead. Oh, here we go. Bama. 55 layups up. And it's good. And with the contact as well. Fade away. No good. Got a foul call. No, no, no foul call. They say out of bounds on Charleston instead. I thought he had his hand being held. 53 to 40 is your score. I'm sorry, 55 to 40 is your score. I apologize. So we got Charleston with a full court press going on. But they're just not athletic. Enough to hold down that press. This has got to go get my welding on. Ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. D3 by Seals is up and it's good. Turnover. And now we got one man. Layup. Good. Yo, we probably need a timeout being called, coach. We probably need a timeout being called 60 to 40 to score. The largest lead of the game right now. And we got a timeout called. 
We got a timeout call to get coach. <laughs> I can't breathe. 60 to 40. These dudes is athletic AF. Oh, my goodness. Sims is just a, 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 a man among boys right now on a mission. On a freaking mission right now. Oh, my goodness. We got a timeout call. Need that timeout in the worst way. Coach, timeout. <laughs> 60 to 40 is your score. Bam on top by 20. Because it's too easy, too easy. <laughs> Send the graphics. Awesome. I try, man. I try, bro. I try. Honestly, I do. We got a timeout call, man. They, they need some help, y'all. They need some freaking help. Boy, what a what a game if you're a Bama fan. You're loving it, man. Yeah, we we tried the graphics, man. My guy TJ Tracy, twenty three seven eight. That's my guy, man. Uh, you know, I had the ideas. He come, he and he just puts it on there, he plugs it in, and he's so freaking awesome. That's my dude for life, bro. So, shout out to my guy uh, TJ Tracy, man. If you're on the chat, uh, he hasn't said it in a while, so I don't know if he's on there or not, man. But uh, I love you, bro, and he's the one that does all my graphics for me, man. So I gotta show love. I gotta show love all the time. I know Brookie right here. You geeked up right now. She loving it. But competition, that's the beauty of March Madness, man. Competition. Competition. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. We got 26 people in the chat right now. Showing love from uh all over the place. Thank y'all for the love and support. And we have 33 likes. Yeah. On our road to 35 likes. We're just two likes away from that. Charleston with the basketball. We got 21 fast break points by Alabama. It shows their athleticism. Just better than Charleston's, obviously. Pump fake. Charleston. The labor's up and good by 13. Sixty to forty two your score. The drive, the layup up and no good, but he's fouled. So Seal's going back to the line. I'm curious, how many points does he have? Because he's he's rocking on thirty. I know he's close to thirty. I know he's very close to thirty points. Or if not close, he's getting there. Does the coach, you know, the Bears sitting next to you have a name? Uh, her name is Brookie, and she's like a part-time co-host, honestly. The only time she shows her face is when her favorite teams play, which is, which is Green Bay, obviously. Go Pack, go, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. We, Packers, yep. Alabama, that's why she's on here right now, because Bama's playing, and of course UConn. What happens if UConn plays Alabama? She said, don't, don't say that, Carlos, don't say that. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I want to know about that, Brookie. What happens if UConn plays Bama? Can that actually happen before the championship? She said, I don't know, but it better be the championship game. <laughs> we got a foul call on Bama, by the way. Uh, Charleston going back to the free throw line for two. But uh, my 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 full-time co-host is PJ. 
She's not on here, but if you want to check who she is, just go back to my other channel, my other uh, stream. You'll see her all the time. She is my co-host, PJ Miss Phyllis Jr. This is Bricky. All right, the first free throw is made from number 13. Got 27 folks in the chat. All my Facebook family and friends, welcome. All my Twitter family and friends, welcome to Uneducated Sports Talk. Let's get it. Both free throws made, by the way. 62 to 44 is your score. Crossover by Seals. Driving to his left. He stumbles for a second. Pass 15 for a corner three. Got it! Oh, baby, it's a rain in threes. Hallelujah, it's a rain in threes. 65 to 44 is your score. Driving to his left now. Charleston layup no good. And we got a foul called, I believe, on Bama. Thank y'all for hitting that like button. Whoever did it, man. We're just one like away from our goal of 35 plus likes. We're just one like away from our goal. Sixty-five to forty-four is your score. Winners, right? As I say, winners. What well, UConn won it all last year. I give you that. Green Bay's been a good little minute. Yeah, ain't won since what two thousand and ten, right? And then of course, uh, Bama, but. Bama just, y'all days are over now. No more Nick Saban. She said, please get out of here. <laughs> well, it's Bama. We'll find a way to get it back. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm just saying, you're going to realize how much Nick Saban was a huge help for that Bama squad. Bye bye recruiting. You got a boy from Washington. He don't know how to recruit no boys from down south, man. And now, and now you can't pay nobody on the table like Nick Saban was doing. I can't, you're right. I can't prove you're right. I can't prove it. You're right. You're right. Laney is in the building showing love. Says, hey, Carlos, sorry I'm late. I forgot about March Madness starting yesterday, but when I remember it, I went looking for your stream. How are you doing? Laney, I am doing well, but I'm doing much better that you're on the uh, chat now, so I appreciate you, love. And uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, not subscribe button, you already hit that. But uh, welcome to the channel. Appreciate that, Laney. How you doing? Hope all is well. But yes, we are March Madness country. Uh, not only are we doing uh, men's, but women's as well. So I'm trying to call uh, if Iowa wins tomorrow. I'm trying to call the game on Monday if it's the right time frame. If it's the right time frame. You know how that, how, you know how that go. If it's the right time frame. So if they're playing while I'm at work, I ain't nothing I can do about that, you know. If they play after work, I'm all Gucci for that. I'm all Gucci. 21 point lead for Alabama, 65 to 44. Thank you all for the love and the support, man. Without you guys, none of this is possible. We had 34 likes, man. We got, uh, we had 32 in the chat just a second ago. Y'all keep smashing that like button. Keep showing love to your boy. I appreciate that, man. I so much appreciate that. Come here. Well, not really. Come here. What's up? Ah, uh, about. 40 minutes. That's cool. All right. Don't always rush at me. All right. Uh, missed the first free throw, by the way, is uh, Charleston. Uh, Butterfly says, let's go. What a game. That's right. You're, you're not lying about that. What a game we got going on. And the free throw is good. He makes one out of two. 65 to 45 is your score.
All right, 20 point lead. Face up. Bama. Lay up. God, that's big boy style right there. Big boy style. Number one, deep three is up and it's going to be missed badly. Crossover. Oh, good move. Lay up. Oh, he missed the bunny, though. He had the $100 move with the 10 cent finish, bro. Come on, man. He went tween, tween, hezzy. Missed it. Good pass down low. Easy layup for Charleston. Great ball movement. Once again, a 20-point lead. 67 to 47 is your score. John Lane. Fade away. Shot is up. And no good, but he's going to the free throw line. And then Carlos is going to go to the hockey game and drive the Zamboni. I like that. Let's go. Got to show some love to the Zamboni. What about Kentucky? What happened there? Hey, Oakland was on fire. Oakland was busting nothing but three-pointers on that ass. I'm being real. Oakland was on fire. Free throws cut off for Bama. They made the first one. Yeah, Laney, I can't explain what happened to uh, Kentucky. I can't. They, 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 they just don't fare well in the tournament over the last man six, seven years. They just haven't fared well at all in the tournaments. And they go one out of two. So Charleston basketball for the left wing. If you're Charleston, you got to start jacking up threes now. Got to get back in this game. They make like ten and a half threes per game. So. I don't like the fact that they're not shooting these threes. They've had a lot of opportunities, especially early in the game, to hit those threes. They've been doing a lot of pump faking and a lot of driving instead. Crossover. Off the shot, he missed it, but it's a foul. Oh, he fouled him. Fouled him on the jumper. All right. We've got 14, 20 to go in this uh, second half. 14, 20 to go. At the line for two free throws, number 11. He will make the first one. Let's show love to all the floor crews at all the games. They work hard. Yeah, they do. You're right about that. Both free throws are made, by the way, for Charleston. Bama driving the lane, nowhere to go. On the right block, handoff. Seals driving in, layup is up, and good. This kid, Seals, is, he's a beast, man. He's a freaking beast. Layup, good by Charleston. So let's run it back, huh? 70 to 51, spin move, layup, good. 72, 51 is your score. Charleston with the basketball. Spin move, fade away, no good. Rebound by Bama. Lost it, and it's going to be out of bounds on Charleston. Seventy-two to fifty-one. Just score. We got thirteen, thirty-nine to go in this second half. And you tried and said so true. It's all the behind-the-scenes workers don't get the credit they deserve. Facts. Facts. And we got a three made by Bama. That's good. Say, give me all three of those. Three by Charleston. That's good as well. Back to back three pointers. Back to back three pointers. Seventy five to fifty four is your score.
Bama basketball. And I was really hoping that Charleston would shoot a lot more threes, right? Just shoot those, just shoot them. Man, I would have, I would have winging it. You, you, you hit about ten and a half per game as it is. I would have been chucking them bad boys, man. Seals has it on the left wing. D3. Oh, that's blocked. Oh, good defense. That's blocked. Blue Spans L2 says, yo, what's up, Carlos and PJ? What is up, Blue Spans L2? Big shout out to the five uh, from Facebook showing love. We appreciate you, man. Step back three. Got it from Bama. Oh, my God. The hits just keep on coming. 78 to 54 is your score. Charleston. They're going baseline. Nowhere to go. Double teamed. Shot is up and no good, but put back slam is good. 78-56, another three, up and it's going to be strong, but a foul called. I don't know about that. A foul is called. Seventy-eight to fifty-six. And says, "See you soon, later." I'm out. Yes, sir, Samuel. Blue spams. How you doing, man? We're good. PJ's not here today. She's on a little bit of a uh, little bit of a vacay. She's relaxing right now. I right, got a free throw missed by Alabama. 78 to 56 is your score. You guys are freaking awesome. The line for one more. No, two more. He'll make the uh, second one. That's right. He, he got fouled shooting a three. I apologize. He got fouled shooting at three. Bama could be uh, hitting that one hundo in this game. I didn't think about that. 80 to 56 now. Blowing this game out the water now. Charleston. We're having a left wing screen. Guy drives to the right. Alley-oop. And it's a two-hand slam. Beautifully done. Eighty to fifty-eight. That was a great play call. All right, step back three. Snatch the soul, but he missed the three-pointer. All right, we got a left wing. Swing it out to the top of the key. Smith has it. Driving to his left. It's gonna post up on the left block. Spin baseline. Nowhere to go. Good pass out on the right wing. Nowhere to go though. Great defense. And another alley-oop. The shot is missed, though. Out of bounds on Alabama. So it'll be Charleston basketball. And we have our under 12-minute timeout, you guys. Our score, Alabama 80. Charleston 58 with 11.24 to go in this second half. Got seven folks in the chat showing love from Facebook. Smash that like button for you, boy. Thank y'all for the love and support, man. You guys are awesome, man. Without you guys, none of this is possible. So a big shout out to everyone in the chat showing love. Let's go. We're just one like away from 35 likes, you guys. One like away. Smash that like button for your boy. If you are new to the stream, hit that like button so we get 35 likes from our YouTube. And we just reached it, y'all. We're at 36 likes now. Thank you all for the love and the support, man. Thank you all for the love and support. You guys are freaking awesome.
Let's go. Can we get 40 now before the end of the stream? Let's get 40 likes now. Thank y'all for helping us reach our goal of 35 plus likes. We're at 36 likes now. When we were four away from 40, thank you all for smashing that like button. You guys are freaking awesome, man. I keep saying that. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Our score, Alabama 80, Charleston 58, 22-point lead for the Crimson Tide. All right, so we got 11.20 to go. 11.20 to go, you guys. Three by Charleston is no good, but it's a loose ball foul on Alabama. All right, so we got a uh, one-on-one -on -one situation going on for Charleston. One-on-one. -on -one. Thank y'all for that like. We had 37 likes, three away. Oh, he missed a free throw. Come on, bro. Got to make that free throw. From the right wing now, here comes Bama. Driving to the baseline, snatch back, come back with it. And he'll swing it out, summer 24. Driving to his right, big body move. Shot is up and no good, but he's foul. Going back to the line for two more free throws is Alabama. Eighty to fifty-eight is your score. Alabama on top by twenty-two. First free throws up and it's good. Butterfly says thanks everyone. Butterfly, thank you. I want to thank you for the love. Sam Walters in the line now for Bama. They can kind of like relax a little bit, right? You know, not really relax, but. You're uh, halfway done with the second half. You're up by 20, uh, well, 20, 24 now, up by 24, so yeah. Here we go, Charleston with the basketball. They'll swing to the left side. Now, they got a top of the key. Back to the left side, Smith on the left wing. Down low to Bronin. He'll be on the left block. Up and under, no good, fade away, short, rebound by Bama, they'll push it out, oh, one man, two ass slam, 84 to 58, Eighty four to 58 is your score with 10 and a half to go. All right, top of the key handoff now. D3. Good for Charleston.
84 and 61. Seals pass it off, 724 on the right wing. Back to Seals. Pump fake. Step back. Three. No good. Rebound, though, by Bama. Layup up, and it's good. 86 to 61 is your score. Christian Nance says, let's smack that light button. Yes, ma'am. Fade away. No good. Bad shot by Charleston. It's going to be rebounded by Bama. Pump fake. Draw the lane. Layup. Good by Alabama. 88 to 61. Griffin. The double clutch in the air. 88 to 61. And we got a timeout called. Time out called. Is it coach? We can't hang no more, man. 916, coach. 88 to 61, coach. <laughs> I can't breathe. Time out, coach. It's a massacre out here. And we the ones being massacred. <laughs> Get Molly out right now, y'all. Coach, they need a time out. Is that cold? We need a timeout, man. And they got it. All right, here we go. Charleston with the basketball. Driving to the right. Pump fake. Nowhere to go. Swing it back out to the right wing. Deep three is up, and it's going to be no good. But rebound goes to nobody. Out of bounds. Alabama basketball. 88 to 61 is your score. 27-point lead with 8.55 to go. We're just three likes away from our goal of 40-plus likes, y'all. Thank y'all for helping us get to 35. Shout to those on Facebook. Shout to those on Twitter or X, as they call it. Shout to those on YouTube, the original gangsters and the, the OGs. Good pass. Left hand labor's up, and it's good, y'all, for Bama. Roll tight and rolling with this game. Roll tight and rolling. Spin move. Pass. Corner three. Cash money for Charleston. 90, 64, Seals driving baseline. Good pass. Wraparound pass to number 11. Two-hand slam. It don't get no better than that. 92 to 64. Blue says, Los, what you think about Kentucky getting eliminated? It don't surprise me. It don't surprise me. They're young. They're always young, and Coach Cal, he's the the master of the one-and-done crew, right? They're not going to beat these teams that have juniors and seniors, right? They're just not. These, these teams are glued together. Kentucky just throws out eight or nine freshmen and think that that's their ticket to the NBA, which is fine, but it hurts your program if you're talking about winning championships. And they've They've been like that forever now. They won one championship under Coach Cal. Only one. That's when you had Anthony Davis on your squad. Miss Free Throw, by the way, for uh, Charleston. Seals. Good pass. Open three in the corner. Got it. 95 to 64 is your score. Cass and Kane's going to OT. And my TV just went out for a second. What is going on? Hold on one second. Brookie, hold it down for one second.
Sorry about that, yeah. Can you just go back to the cable box for me, please? Thank you, love. So we do have a timeout, you guys. Uh, there's a, a stoppage, so it might be the under. Is it the under eight minute timeout? I'm I'm assuming. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You just you you had just got on YouTube. You had just got on it. Try it again. Just. Okay. But yeah, Baloo, I hope that answers your question, though, with, uh, when it comes out of Kentucky getting uh, eliminated. What is the score, by the way? I didn't even see what the score was. Caps and Canes going to OT. Uh oh. It's a good one over there. It's a good one over there. Let me see something, y'all. Give me one second, man. Trying to see what the dang old score is. Okay, still the same score 95 64. Okay. 95 to 64 is still the same score. So we didn't miss nothing. We didn't miss a nad nutter right now. With 7.36 to go. Yeah, it was definitely under. It was definitely under uh, eight minute timeout. All right, we got a foul called on Bama Charleston going to the line for two free throws. It's Brown, who's been really balling. He's a, he's a baller. He's a gamer. And he will miss the first free throw. So Purdue wound up beating Grambling by 28, 78 to 50. Duke wound up beating Vermont as well to uh, advance. He'll make one out of two, 30-point lead. 7.20 to go. We'll uh, get it down to about the four-minute mark. If it's still a blowout, which is probably going to be, we'll, we'll set it down. You want to see it all? Now you want to see it all. You want to you want to leave uh, the stream early when you get when you're getting beat. Let's yeah, out seven minutes ago. Crossover number ten on the left uh, baseline. Oh, stolen the cookies! All right, driving all the way. Oh, he lost the handle out of bounds. It's going to be Bama basketball. Yo, I got forty-two. So hey. So Nebraska screwed me over in the tournament, bruh. Yeah, they screwed me over on some money, too. I could have won about $130-something on that bad boy, man. But, yeah, they screwed me over, too, man. So, But that, that's with uh, my parlay. <laughs> they screwed you, boy. 6.50 to go. Crossover. Driving to the right. Spin to the left. Layup. No good. Rebound by Charleston. 6.40 to go. Driving to the inside. Layup is up, and it's good. 95 to 67 is your score. Bama with the basketball now on the left wing. Crossover. Driving to the right. Pass baseline. Back to the right wing. Sizing him up. Step back. Nowhere to go. Give and go. Nope. Pump fake on the right corner. He'll drive inside. Post up on the left block. Fade away. Got it. And one.
Zakaria Jabri is watching from Facebook. What's up, Zakaria? How you doing, love? And he will miss the free throw, but they got it right back. But then there's a, another foul on Bama, I'm assuming. Zakaria Jabri, how you doing, love? Ninety-seven to sixty-seven. Got a thirty-point lead. It's about to be scrub time. Scrub time. Scrub time. We got a foul. Free throws coming up. At least there's still women's basketball to prove. A and M, who's boss? <laughs> Let's hope so, man. Oh my goodness, the Hurricane Capital game, dude. Oh, it's crazy, huh? Is that good? All right. 97 to 69, everyone's favorite nasty number. All right, we got the top of the key now from Alabama, number 55. Pump fake. Driving to his left. Lost the handle out of bounds on Bama. Charleston basketball. Carlos, uh, LeBron or Jordan all time? Oh, Jordan all day. Every day, Jordan this is Jordan by a long shot. It's not even close, in my honest opinion. Don't let that longevity fool you with LeBron James. Yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's out of you. Oh, two air slam, beautifully done. And once again for Charleston, I got Randy Florano watching from Facebook. Welcome, welcome, Randy. Welcome, Randy. Come join our YouTube channel. We got a three up, and it's good for Bama. It's a rain of threes. Hallelujah. It's a rain of threes. 100 to 71. We got a timeout call once again. One hundred seven one. I got Donis Martin is in the building from Facebook showing love. What's up, Donis? One hundred. So we finally have Bama in the one hundos. They had just been scoring outright crazy. Thank you all for showing love and support. I appreciate that, man. Adelpha Patterson Val is watching. What's up, Adelpha? How you doing? 42 said, Height says, Maryland and FSU screwed me over in women's basketball for perfect. Oh, damn. They got you, huh? Bama's 13 out of 22 from the three point line. Jasper Esperito DeFang is watching. Jasper, how you doing? Man, 13 out of 22 series has been balling. He's back in the game. Why? It's a 29-point lead. I will take him out now. No need to risk an injury with five and a half to go. All right, here we go. Top of the key. Swing it out to the right wing. Then get out to number 23. Drive to the right and pass out in the corner. Number one will drive to his left. Nowhere to go. Post up. You're going to swing it out again. These guys have missed so many three-point opportunities. Crossover, good defense though. Pass with four seconds. D three is up and it's gonna be good. And it drives me crazy because they've had so many opportunities to hit these three pointers and just chose not to shoot them. Sears layups up and no good. I'm assuming Sears was at thirty. He's fouled though, going to the line for two. So that's probably why he's in the game, to, to give him 30 points, I'm assuming. Because honestly, I'm like, bro, no, nah, man. I got Pyro. All the dice is watching. What's up, Pyro? And we have our 30 burger. 
I got Jay Arce's in the building from Facebook. What's up? Welcome, Jay. And Seals, Mr. Sears, Mr. Uh, second free throw. Our score is one on one to 74. We got a missed layup by Charleston. Oh, bad pass from Bama. And a corner three, no good. Tipped away. And another three attempt again from Charleston. Got it this time. This time made it count. So we got another three. 101 to 77. Bing. My soul gets in the building. First it said, height says, I just like the stream. Yes, sir. We're at 37 likes now. 101 to 77 is your score. Four eighteen. Sears has thirty points, and I imagine that's why he came back in the game to get that thirty burger. Now to tack on to his uh, you know, his stuff now. At the end of the day, I don't know if Jordan can take a two thousand eighteen Cavs type route to the finals. Oh yeah, he could. Yeah, what you mean, man? In today's NBA, yeah. And yeah, and. Oh, we got a hurt player. Uh-oh. Got a hurt player for Charleston, y'all. We need some prayer emojis. He is down, and he's kind of in serious pain. One-on-one -on -one is 77. He's in serious pain. Said my bracket for men's has 2,000. Oh, dang, let's get it, man. Lito Vera De Vera is watching. How y'all doing? Thank you for the love. I appreciate that. All right, one on one seventy seven. At the end of the yeah, but I'll tell you what though, man, like if you saw what LeBron did in that two thousand eighteen and the Eastern Conference opponents that he went through, yeah, he could have took that team to it. The East was trash anyway. The East was bad, bro. East was bad. He's bad though, so all right, we got nineteen folks all together in the chat, man. Thank y'all for that, man. Let me check out uh what X is talking about too. Twitter X. I got 12 folks in my Twitter. Welcome uh, to an educated sports talk, you guys. I know we're doing Alabama versus uh, versus uh, Charleston. I know it says Magnese versus Gonzaga. It's not that game. It is actually Alabama versus uh, Charleston. So come in there and show some love. I appreciate it, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, we got 12 in the building from, uh, from X. So thank y'all for showing love, and I appreciate that, man. Twitter kind of really hyped up today. Now we got 14 in the building. Let's go, man. And feel free to comment if you guys want to. Feel free to comment. All right, 
right, we got a free throw made. It's good. Both free throws made. Not one made, I'm sorry, for number 11 has to walk out, man. Sad to see that, though. Cats win the shootout. Uh-oh. 101 to 78, man. And a big shout to Charleston, though. They got in the tournament. They got in. That means they played their butts off in the regular season to get to that opportunity to represent themselves in this tournament. Thank you for my uh, folks in uh, Twitter. We appreciate you guys for showing love. Got 18 in the building for Twitter, so. Seven to six Capitals win against the Hurricanes in the shootout, man. That's crazy how that goes down. Missed a free throw for Bama to go one for two. 102 to 78 is your score. All right, the next uh, stoppage of play will be uh, done with our under four minute timeout. So this is obviously an Alabama win. They're going to face either St. Mary's or. Oh, no, they're, they're done with it. All right, well, we're done. So, um, it most likely might be St. Mary's for you guys. Most likely. Well, they still have to play the game, though. So, but what a dominating victory. 102 to 78. Twitter family. How y'all feeling, man? Comment down below if you guys want to comment in the Twitter right now. You guys are awesome. I know I got like 20 in, in there. We got some folks in the YouTube community as well. Thank y'all for showing love, man. How y'all feeling? Represent your ride or die squads. 104 to 78 your score now. And it's, it's just a beatdown. It's a total beatdown from Bama since about the 10-minute mark of the first half. It's been a total beatdown for the Crimson Tide uh, over Charleston Cougars. So, three is no good by Charleston. Rebound. And it's going to be a foul on Alabama. <laughs> so, We'll, we'll let it ride out, y'all. We've been live now for uh, two hours and 45 minutes. As I see uh, cops going down my street, I wonder what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to find out because I'm not that curious. Uh, so we'll be live tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know what time. Maybe. I, I lied. We might not be live tomorrow. We might not be live. But I'll tell you what, though. We are. We'll, we'll be live on Sunday and Monday. For sure. Saturday, I don't know what I'm live for yet. I got to find out if, if I even do a stream. If not, I know for sure I'm getting some sleepy sleep because your boy is tired, tired, man. We'll go ahead and take this uh, shower right fast and uh, get some sleep, man. So, Brookie, y'all team won. She said, Roll Tide Road. It's 104 and 79. I want to cut the stream short, man. And uh, I, I love you guys. Thank y'all for the love and support, man. And Bama, Bama versus UConn coming up. <laughs> <laughs> she said, please don't tell me that right now. It better be for the championship game, huh? So you can uh, relax, right? Yeah, let's let's find out. I, I got to find out their brackets, though. We'll, we'll look at it after the uh, stream. Got a three-pointer made. The three is good uh, for Charleston. 104-82. A lot of scoring in this game, man. So cool to see that. All right. Uh, thank y'all all for the love and the support, man. Another deep three. And if I was Charleston, I would have been just chunking up threes all day, man. But they did not, man. And this game's a beatdown. Yes, right, Dallas. This game is a beatdown. Bama is the obvious better team. Um, you know, and they, they won this game. But Charleston could have played spoilers. We've had a few spoilers already in, um, in the world of March Madness. We had a few spoilers already, but, uh, you know, when it's all said and done, if you're better, you're just better. And when you're hot, if you're the better team and you're hot, which Bama was hot, I mean, they have 104 points. It's about to be really scrub time now. Scrub time, scrub time, scrub time for Alabama for sure, man. All right, uh, Brookie, well, we got to go pay some bills. I love you all. Have a blessed night. Hope you guys have a blessed night. I'll see you guys on... Saturday, if not for sure, Sunday and Monday. Stay tuned. If you hit that 
subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit that all button. You'll be notified every time me and PJ or me and Brookie go live for any event, you guys. But you got to stay in tune with UST Nation. Thank you all all for the love and support. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Our score, 104 to 84. Bama on top by 20. Um, we'll see what goes on when it's all said and done. We got another turnover. And we got a easy layup. No, it blocked. Instead, blocked. All right. Uh, for this, it's a buy and sub to USC. That's right, y'all. Uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. On our road to 3K, we are less than 400 away from 3K. You guys are awesome, man. All sports fans. You guys know what time it is. Stay smart. Stay uneducated. Peace. Love you, mama. And I love you guys as well. See you guys later on for the weekend. Have a blessed night. And, uh... Let's get out of here. Sit, Brookie. Sit, roll, tie, roll. <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all.